Hi guys, Kieran here, and this is an acoustic tutorial for the song Safety Pin by 5 Seconds of Summer. Um, first off, to play this song you won't need a capo, uh, and I've got mine on the second, but my guitar is tuned a whole step down. So I need it on the second to sound like it's in standard tuning. Um, but you guys will not need a capo to play this. So, getting straight into it, you need to know an A major chord. An A5, which is like if you know an A minor, you just take off your pinky or whatever thing you've got on the second string of the third fret, and then a B. So if you're on that A5, just move it two frets, and then pop your first finger on the fifth string of the second fret. And what you want to do is mute this low sixth string either with your first finger, just pushing it up so it, it just hits that string and it'll naturally mute. Or you can put your thumb over, do the same thing. Or some, some people use this, this second finger which is free and just place it on top of that. But I like to use my first finger. But just do whatever feels natural to you. Uh, and then the fourth chord is a C, C sharp. Just move that whole shape up two frets. And what you want to make, uh, make sure is that these high two strings ring out through the whole thing. Um, so for the verse, you'll, it goes E, B, C sharp, A. And the strumming pattern for this, you can either do uh, palm mutes or just straight up down strokes. So the way, the best way to explain this is for each chord, it's one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, with the counting for it. Um, so on the E, it'll be one, two, three, four, 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 one, two, three, four. Um, but on the threes, that's where you want to the, push it a little bit more, so it sort of emphasizes that that third and uh, down. So it's one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Uh, even when you, if even if you're not palm muting as well. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Um, so yeah, you can either palm mute or just straight up down. It doesn't uh, it doesn't really matter. Just whatever whatever you uh, think feels feels and sounds best to you. Um, but yeah, uh, so one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. That's Technically, one time through the strumming pattern, I'm calling it. So on the E, it's one time through, B, one time through, C sharp, one time through, A, one time through. And you do that three times all together. And then on the fourth time round, you do one hit on the C sharp for two times that strumming pattern. But you just let it ring that amount of time. And then you do an A for two, two uh, strumming pattern length as well. And then you go into the chorus. But I'll play that verse uh, just so you can get a sense and then I'll explain the chorus. Run away where the long lost children run to the edge of the world. Everybody wants to throw us away. Broken boy means broken girl. He said he tried it all before, but no, it only makes it worse. Oh, but this time, maybe And then just before the chorus, you can do one, two, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, and then ready to go into the chorus. Uh, so the chorus is the same chords as the verse, so E, B, C, A, but using a strum pattern, which is a bit more open. Um, so this strum pattern will be in the description. And and the chords are split halfway between the, the strum pattern. So in the description, I'll put a slash in between the uh, strum pattern, so you know where to change. Uh, but I'll just go over it quickly now. So the strum pattern is down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up. So where you change in that is the first chord will be on the down, down, up, down, up, 
and then you change chord, and then the next chord will be the down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up. So all together will be a down, 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 up, down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up. So that whole strum band is one, and you do an E for half, and then B for half, and then C sharp for half, A for half, and you do that twice. Uh, and then the third time round, you go to this C sharp, you hit it twice, do a down up, down up, mute, same again on the B. And then you go to the A, and you do the one time strum button on the A, and then you go back to the E, B, C sharp, A, the normal strum button. But I'll go through the chorus, I'll play through it now so you can get a sense of what it sounds like. Two rhymes make a rhyme with safety The pieces are the ones we must go to Matching up all the holes to the left of the ground Believe me, I'm really bad So I don't stay in the glasses Safety there, the pieces are the ones we must go to the ground so like I said, on the A to the B, um, you change after the down, down, up, down, up, go to the B, down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, and then you go into the next drawing pattern, um, to the C and the A. But I'll put the slash we need to change, and I'll put the chords in the description as well, so you know, just in case you've missed anything there. Um, so you get to the next verse, it's exactly the same as the first verse. Um, then to the next chorus, same as the previous chorus, uh, and then you get to the bridge, and this is where it changes up the chords. Um, so the bridge is sort of broken down into two sections. So the first section will be a C sharp to A to E to B. And this is using the chorus strum pattern. So usually in the chorus, the chords are split halfway between the strum pattern. But for this first section of the bridge, you play the whole strum pattern for each chord. So it'll sound like this. So you play that one time through, and then you get into the singing section, which again uses the same shrimp as the chorus, but also uses, uh, it also changes the chord halfway through. So, but you do that same, that same chord progression of C sharp to A to E to B, but instead of playing um, each chord for the whole shrimp pattern, you half it, so, the C sharp will be for half, A for half, E for half, B for half, as opposed to the full strum button. So you change on the on the slash again. So it'll sound like this. No A, E, B goes around four times and then on the fifth time you play this A for one hit but it be in the length of um, one string pattern length so it'll be and then you go to the next chord which you take uh, your third finger or whatever finger is on the second fret of the third string and you move it down to the first fret of the third string and play that for one time length of the strum pattern as well. So it'll be and then do a few moots um, and then into the 
the final chorus. So the final chorus is the same as the previous chorus. Uh, and then you get to an outro section, which plays the chorus. Um, so on the chorus, where you play the E, B, C sharp, A, uh, you play that four times for the outro. And you play and you're singing the bridge lyrics. So I'll just play the outro now, uh, just so you can get a sense of what that sounds like. No Essentially singing the bridge lyrics just over the chorus chords there. Um, so I think I've covered everything there. All the chords and the strum patterns will be in the description in case you've missed anything. Uh, if you've got any questions about the tutorial, put them in the comments section. Uh, if you've got any re requests as well, put them in the comments section. Um, don't forget to subscribe and uh, until next time, peace out.